How do you create a medical school resume? In this video, I'm going to show you why you should add a resume to your medical school application, what to include, and how to create a perfect resume to impress medical school admissions committees. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe or follow us so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hi, my name is Diego Pineda and I'm an admissions associate at Vivo. If you would like us to help you prepare your medical school resume, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections that you are interested in. The purpose of a medical school resume is to showcase your most relevant and strongest accomplishments, those things that make you the right candidate for the medical school you're applying to. And although a medical school resume is not a necessary application component, it may become your competitive edge when admissions committees review thousands of applications side by side. During the initial screening, most admissions committees will only scan your resume looking for something that may catch their attention while taking a closer look at your personal statement, AMCAS work and activities, and other application components. That means you must be very strategic in the keywords you use for subheadings and titles, knowing exactly what is expected of you. So, what is a medical school admissions committee looking for and how can you stand out? Think beyond your GPA and your MCAT score. Medical schools want to see applicants who have clinical experience even before entering the program. So, clinical experience is a great keyword phrase to include. Other examples of great keywords are research and publications. If you have conducted scientific research during college, or even better, if you have published your findings, you will certainly attract attention by incorporating these experiences in your resume. Other keywords to include in your resume are leadership, community service, internship, science, and teaching. So what should you include in your medical school resume? Some must-have sections that you can't leave out are your contact info, your education, and your professional experience. Other sections like teaching experience or published papers are optional. Now, let's review the medical school resume sections one by one. First, objective. The professional objective can make your resume stand out from the rest. You should use words that describe your personality like uh, passionate or relentless or motivated or hardworking. You may also add your degree and any important professional experience. Here's an example of an objective for a student wanting to focus on research. Driven medical researcher applying to Stanford Medical School, an honor student in the Dean's List at John Hopkins University with a BS in Neuroscience GPA of 3.79 with focus on pathology and CAT score 590. And here's another example for an applicant focusing on patient care. Passionate doctor's assistant with one year of experience in a clinical setting, seeking admission into the University of Toronto, Faculty of Medicine, to gain knowledge and experience in patient care and medicine. Two, contact information. The top section of your resume includes your basic contact information full name, home address, telephone number, email address, and LinkedIn profile. Three, education. This is the section where you add your college and university degrees and other relevant educational experience. Include the degree earned, your major and minor, the school name and location, graduation year, the GPA, awards, honors, and achievements. Four, experience. In this section, be sure to add all relevant professional, clinical, and research experience, including jobs, volunteer work, internships, and community involvement. Your experience will demonstrate directly or indirectly if you really have what it takes to be a doctor. Having experience taking care of patients or being exposed to clinical medicine during an internship, showing a doctor and demonstrating compassion through volunteer work 
speaks louder than words about your motivation to enter medical school. Five, extracurricular activities. The extracurricular activities section will help the admissions committee identify if you possess essential non-cognitive skills, emotional intelligence, and the dedication required to handle the rigors of medical school and become a great physician. Add your hobbies and other personal extracurricular activities outside of your studies to show who you are, your interests, and your motivations. Six, skills and interests. This optional section can make a big difference if you list some skills relevant for a future physician. For example, being fluent in more than one language means that you will be able to communicate with some patients in their native language. Make sure to include some transferable skills, such as leadership, which you can demonstrate with tutoring or teaching experience, or being a sports team captain, for example. 7. Research groups and publications. You can add research groups and publications under the education or experience section, but if you have a lot of things to show, you may want to list them in a separate section. That way, you will draw more attention to your research skills. So that's the content of your resume in a nutshell. Now, what about the format? Here are some tips for formatting your medical school resume. Keep your resume to one or two pages long. Space is limited, so you should only include relevant information that will help the admissions committee make a decision in your favor. Make it easy to read with a font size of 12 or 14 and leave a lot of white space and margins between sections. You can also use bullet points. In other words, make your resume scannable. Highlight important sections with larger text for titles or use a different, different color such as blue. But don't use more than two colors in your resume. Use lines and boxes to separate sections but never use funky fonts. Your resume should look very professional. Just like with other medical school applications components, make sure your resume does not have any grammatical errors or punctuation mistakes. Read through your resume several times. And finally, save your resume as a PDF to ensure readability and that the format won't change when open in a different computer. Check out our blog to learn more about writing a medical school resume. I have included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. If you would like us to help you prepare your medical school resume, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about writing a medical school resume that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching this video and see you next time.